So, ayun na nga guys. Sa gagawin natin ngayon, kailangan yung i-download ang dalawang apps na makakatulong sa atin to hide the KineMaster watermark. Now, kung itatanong nyo, maganda naman talaga ang KineMaster. Na-try ko na rin siyang gamitin, pero most of the time, ang ginagamit ko talaga is InShot, which is yun na yung nakasanayan kong gamitin. So, um, kahit anong editing app ang mas komportable tayong gamitin, dun tayo. Pero gusto ko lang na ma-share kung anong nalalaman ko kung paano itago ang watermark using another video editing app. So, ang una nating gagawin is to open the KineMaster app. So, ayun na siya. It's still loading guys. Maulan na umaga. So, I guess yun ang isa sa nakakaano kaya medyo mabagal na mag-load. So, una nating gagawin is create new. And then since uh, siguro guys familiar naman kayo ng aspect ratio, it means yung size ng video na ginagamit using or on YouTube, I mean. So, that's 16 is to 9. Press natin yung next. So, mararaut tayo sa pinaka-page ng KineMaster. Now, dito sa upper left part, ayon, you have to press Image Assets. It's been a while since the last time na inopen ko yung KineMaster and nababago yung mga pangalan ng settings or options niya, kaya please bear with me. So, press natin yung Image Assets which is on the upper left part ng phone nyo. And as you can see, makikita nyo ang daming colors or backgrounds na pwedeng gamitin. So, you can pick kahit alin dyan. So, halimbawa, pinili ko yung color yellow. Example lang. And then, halimbawa, yung video nyo is, sabihin lang natin na, let's say, for example, example lang, Sabihin na natin, it's a one minute video. So, dito sa baba nakikita nyo yung time frame or duration ng video nyo. So, isiset ko rin siya one minute. So, ayan, one minute, one second. Balik tayo sa pinakauna. So, halimbawa, halimbawa uli, lalagyan ko siya ng... Um, Example na lang is gagamitin ko picture. So, halimbawa, ito. Pili tayo ng isa. Example lang yan. So, ayun na siya. As you can see on the upper right part, nakalagay yung logo ni Kine Master Or, I mean, watermark. Yung pinaka-specific na tawag doon. Try natin siyang, so, click, check on the upper right part. And then, itry natin siyang i-play. So, ayan. As you can see, guys, dun sa upper part, di ba, picture lang yung ginamit ko. So, as you can see, maliit siya dun sa pinaka-screen ng Kine Master. So, ia-adjust natin yan later using another video editing app. So, please bear with me, guys. So, as you can see nga, from zero until one minute, Ganyan lang siya. And lumalabas yung watermark ng Kine Master. So, ayun. Still rolling pa siya. Almost done. So, let's just wait for it to finish. So, ayan. So, tapos na siya. So, example, video na yan. So, press natin tong upper right part. etong may arrow up. Export natin siya or save as video. And then skip since naka-free lang yung gamit ko. Kaya, ayun. Ayoko pa kasi magbayad ng um, professional na um, settings ng editing app na Kine Master or yung InShot na ginagamit ko. Pero maybe someday soon, I will actually... Upgrade it to the professional one. 
let's see. So, please bear with me, guys. It's still saving. So, I will show you now kung paano natin matatanggal yung kain master na logo. It's really up to you guys kung gusto nyo na may watermark or shall I say logo na lumalabas sa video nyo. It's up to you. Pero, ano, para magmukhang prof yung gamit natin or what do you call this? Um, yeah, tama, pro. So, para magmukhang pro ang gamit natin na editing app, take natin muna yung X sa ads. So, ayun, na-save na siya. As you can see on the middle part, right part. So, naka-save na siya. So, let's take X. And then, let's press this. Ayan. Pinatayo ko guys, since ang settings ng InShot is patayo. So, let's find the downloaded InShot editing app. I'll try if it works. Di na. So, okay. So, let's try. Video. Press video. And then, press new. And then, eto na siya. Since video settings yung ginawa natin sa Kain Master, so we need to look for that specific one sa video din. So, ayan na siya. Dito na tayo sa InShot na editing app. And as you can see, ayun si Kain Master. So, itry natin i-play uli. Andun pa rin siya. So, Kung paano natin siya tanggalin, guys. Taas ko lang tong mukha ko dito. So, let's pause it first. And then, dito sa lower left part, as you can see, the settings or the options to edit using InShot. So, canvas, music, sticker, text, filter, etc. So on and so forth, okay? So, press natin, guys, tong word na canvas. May nakikita ka dyan, pinch to zoom in. Canvas. And then my check. So, nakalagay siya sa settings na 16.9, yung highlighted in white. And then, itong middle part, ito, i-move natin siya pataas. Medyo may mapuputol lang guys, dun sa picture ko. Pero, as you can see on the upper right part, natago na yung kind master. So, ayan. Ayan siya. So, dito until 31. So, I will check it out. Since nga yung settings nung photo natin is maliit, kaya ganyan din yung resolution niya. So, lagyan ko ng effect na lagyan ko ng music. Para, uh, there you go. Again guys, um, you can still use the your favorite editing app if you want. Pero ito suggestion ko lang naman if you want to try it. And kung di nyo masyadong naintindihan during the process of my tutorial, feel free to um, send a comment so I can reply back to you. So ayan siya. watermark no kind master and i will also show another example kasi yung watermark ng kind master nag-iiba din from time to time dati may pahaba may maiksi may malaki so try natin save to for later um i will show you another example um bali ginagamit ko siya as outro um in edit ko siya from another editing app and then transfer ko sa kind master and then, transfer ko siya sa Kain Master dahil may inedit din ako. So, bale, with that, tatlo yung editing app na nagamit ko. So, let's just wait for the ads to finish. Ayan. X. Ayan, nagda-download pa tuloy. <laughs> so, since photo lang naman yun, so madali siyang ma- download. I will show you another example since ito, photo lang yung ginawa natin. Parang photo, ginawa natin as video. Pero para mas magandang example, para mas makita nyo yung talagang outcome ng video compared sa photo, ito siya guys. Let's try another example. Yung may watermark din. So, um, press natin, create new video. 
new, click plus, and then nakalagay dito sa video settings. So, I will search for it. Um, export. There you go. So, yan yung ginagamit kong outro sa mga videos ko. So, as you can see on the upper right part, andyan din yung lo watermark ng Kine Master. Um, medyo kakaiba tong logo ng Kine Master kasi medyo matagal na tong na-edit using Kine Master. So, as you can see, andyan pa rin yung background or parang wallpaper ng pinaka-video ko. I will play it with the watermark Kine Master. At yun yung na-edit later. So, hinaan lang natin yung volume kasi may tulog sa taas, baka magising. So, ayan. There you go. So, ito is 14 seconds lang yung duration ng video. So, itago uli natin yung watermark ng Kine Master. So, press canvas na sa lower left ng phone nyo. Sorry. Okay. Press canvas. As you can see now, andyan pa rin yung Kine Master logo. 16.9 again yung aspect ratio ng video natin since that's the one that we are using on YouTube. And then, ayun, i-adjust na natin siya. So, since yung aspect ratio from the time na ginawa ko tong outro na video, 31, 32, 33. So, bale, natago na natin yung background or yung wallpaper. And then, as you can see, wala na yung watermark na time master. So, 32, 33. Okay, so, check. Lagyan uli natin ng music. Edit natin. There you go. And, ayan. And then, cut natin yung music since sumobra siya. Split, delete. And then uh, this one, i-adjust na last part. So, I did go on extra miles, guys, um, on how to use the editing app in shot. So, I hope may natutunan kayo and um, I hope you like this. So, halimbawa, save natin. Um, it takes time to save it. Let's take X. Ayaw niyang maklik. There you go. Madaling makonvert yung video since 14 seconds lang siya. Press home. So, ayun na siya. Video, ayun na siya. 14 seconds. Pag nakita mo siya, andun pa rin yung red na um, red na background or parang wallpaper ng video. Pero pag inopen mo siya, ayan. Since inedit mo na siya kanina. So, Ayun guys, I hope you like my video for today and if you have some questions, please feel free to comment down below and you can also check on the description box, may ilalagay din ako mga information regarding dun sa editing app na nagamit ko and if you have suggestions na kaya kong gawin na video or tutorial or something that will help me with my YouTube channel, please feel free to uh, comment down below. So. I really appreciate your time and sana may natutunan kayo sa tutorial ko today or saan nagustuhan nyo, whether nagustuhan nyo o hindi. <laughs> please feel free to comment down below and please don't forget to press like, subscribe, and the notification bell for you to be updated of my latest videos. Till next time guys!